And hello there, and welcome back. Yes, welcome back. It's been a little while to Crusader Kings 2 Dragon for the Dragon Dome campaign, where we are Emperor Long Bevar the Wise. We are the Emperor of the Empire of the Dragon. Well, at least one of them. And uh, we are the heir to the Barony of Gashapur, apparently. Neat. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we are uh, doing this sort of thing. We are huge and large, and we've got some factions to maybe worry about. We'll uh, get sorted on that first. We could create a bunch of titles. We're not going to do that right now, but we got things to think about later. Um, we also got some Seljunks on our border who are big and mean and kind of in charge of things. And they're fighting the Byzantines, and that's pretty cool. Um, they also got a bigger army than me, about 10,000 some. A um, bunch of them are a bit spawned because they're the Seljunks, so they do that sort of thing. Hopefully they'll uh, end up losing a bunch of them to the Byzantines, and uh, then maybe I can go mop up something, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. Um, anywho, uh, our member guys, for those who are new to the campaign, we're playing this in version 2.8.3, I think, something like that. And our goal is to invade China successfully, hopefully. And uh, <laughs> we're getting closer and closer to the point where I might be able to actually pull something like that off. Uh, we'd like to have 100,000 troops, but that might not be possible. And uh, we'd uh, be aiming to, you know have a very strategic sort of situation where we actually pull our armies back, see where they show up in our territory, and then strike the smaller stacks as they may appear. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't just doom stack and just sort of wander through and <laughs> do that sort of thing. That'd be annoying. Anyway, um, let's start with the faction business first, because that's the most uh, <laughs> actual threat here. Well, uh, first off, there is not necessarily much we could do with a lot of this stuff here. Uh, who is this, this guy about here? He is not liking me because I disrespect disrespects my dynasty. What? Why you do that, man? Um, but Ingvar, you're being kind of a jerk face, my half brother. Um, I'm going to revoke your viceroyal title here. Mm, yes, because uh, I'm a imperial administration. I can do that sort of things without any objections. Um, oh, someone's fighting you for this. Hmm. Um, to increase council power, I suppose means you're not going to be firing off the uh, little dealio for a little bit. Um, are you going to be successful, dude? What's the outcome? It's currently about even. So you got a uh, two thousand some dudes there. You fa facing off against my 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 guy here, and his one thousand some. Good luck. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of a pointless war, honestly. I so I can just uh, ask him to do peace, but I don't really necessarily want to be giving up anything. So I will let things slide for now. For now. What, what is this? What is this? Is the game going to crash on me? I hope not. Uh, left defense pact against me. Excellent. Who are you? You are lady up here. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Left defense pact. Who are you? You are the king of the Santi Devils, yeah. I would like to, I don't know, acquire your kingdom. I guess I could do that right now. Just kind of grab all this simultaneously for this dude. But I personally got a, a little bit of a uh, truce to you, so I'm not going to do that. Um, Zig, Lig, Z, Zig, Did, the third. It's no longer in the thing. What's, what's he in charge of here? He's in the Zung Zung, wherever they may be. And, uh,. You're basically this, but you're also under the Western Protectorate, so we're not going to be tangoing there. And of course, there's the Western Protectorate itself, it's no longer the defensive pact against me, and that's fine. That uh, is fine. How is China doing, by the way? Um, stable, open, pretty cool. Uh, Emperor Gejid Kizong is uh, currently uh, kicking some butt here. He's got some tributaries, they're, they're pretty sweet. And uh, we'll uh, push forward here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jagadeva Midri. Both defensive pact. Uh, what's he about here? Uh, he's the uh, Gujarat kingdom here. I'd love to acquire that. Uh, religious liberation. Hmm. You know what? That might be very much worth it. I will consider that here. Both defensive pact posing me. I don't necessarily care about you. But I think that uh, given that there are religious differences here, might be uh, up for doing that here. Now, I haven't actually used the Religious Liberation more, I don't think, so I'm not sure what would do other than maybe get that. Uh, what, what, what does it give me here? Um, 
We win the war. Okay, is that from contribution? Um... We uh, the kingdom of Gujarat will be liberated under a new ruler of the Hindu religion. The ruler will become your tributary. Neat. So basically this will give me a uh, fresh tributary. Do I necessarily want that? Hmm. Is, uh, getting, yeah, I guess, I guess that'd be one th way to sort of, uh, sort things out as far as, uh, call it, um, the dealios, you know. You know, getting somebody in here that might be a little bit more susceptible to my religious, uh, my, 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 my uh, you know, uh, marriage, uh, efforts here. Hmm, maybe pretty easy war. I do kind of outnumb them, like, almost five to one. Um, but, 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 ho <laughs> hmm. Decisions to be made here. Uh, would take a substantial chunk out of the India efforts here that potentially foil me. Hmm. I really do want the territory to be my own, though. I shall wait. Uh, who are you? Cousin? Nepal? Uh, what do you got? Mm, doo -doo. Some people claiming your kingdom, potentially. Uh, including this small child type person. Who, uh, is the heir is the guy we'd be fighting. Hmm. Which I guess would be not the end of the world? Oh, that'd get us all of Nepal here. Which would sort of give us a little buffer zone. Of, uh, you know, mountainous terrain we can make use of when uh, the whole fight fighting with China sort of thing picks off. Hmm, I'm very tempted to do that one here. Hmm. So, Nepal, do you got any interesting packs? You have no friends. Ho <laughs> ho! Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, we got some interesting heirs. But if you are inside my kingdom and all that sort of stuff, you only got the one kingdom title. And you also got some Bihars and things like that. But, uh, you know, we're, you know we're, we got some. Some uh, shenanigans to pull on here. Uh, another one here is uh, Tabu Jugid. There's also this lady. She's got a couple, you know, sort of royal titles there. That's fine. All right, so you guy, five thousand troops. Ho oh, ho! I could send my standing army up there, and it'll all be good. Hmm, yes. Now um, we're gonna declare war on you, even though we could potentially be in trouble elsewhere. We're gonna make it so that. Uh, which one do we want out here, actually? This guy, maybe. He's got a claim here. He's kind of old. The successor would be this guy. Who do you want? This kid. Who's quick? Hmm. That's that's acceptable, I think. Uh, is this guy ambitious? Nope. Is his dad ambitious? Nope. His, his dad, though, got the, got the syphilis. So, you know, he's probably not going to last very much longer. Anyway, we're going to actually use the child instead. <laughs> Because this child is less likely to perish randomly, and um, that would be a, a good thing. So, um, so it's making me super happy for you, actually. So, King of Nepal, I've, I've, uh, King Maharaja Balas, uh, Balasan of Nepal. Guess what? We stand at odds. I declare war. Huh. And now we're at war. Ho ho! You are, uh, already fighting something here. Make. So there's a uh, tributary state. <laughs> Neat. Alright, so I'm going to sum up a, a few bits of troops from this general area. And uh, some of these will uh, will perish quickly. Others will persist for quite some time. And we'll uh, go ahead and uh, call that good, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll gather all 15,000 troops up here. Send them in this general direction here. That's, that's our base, uh, our, our supply limit here. Do, do, do. Supply limit's good. Good. Good, 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 good. Hmm. How are you guys doing? Hope oh, you're doing well. I spent way too much time just trying to get groceries today. I hate traffic around here. <laughs> uh, I'd inherited the Duchy of Porosan from Duke Suki uh, Nandravaman, the Unready. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, you are uh, the, the the duchy person of that, uh, and you got duchy claims over there. Um, I need to get rid of this ducal title of Korosan. Where are we? Korosan, yes, up here. Somebody here who potentially likes me, potentially. And uh, you kids, you got some random bits of land. You might be worthwhile. Um, you guy, you seem pretty cool. 
You kids seem less so. Well, we're gonna give it to this dude. Why this dude? Because he's weak and would probably like it. Let's desire the Duchy of Cross, and you're not going to be vice royal. So congratulations. Ho ho. You are now the vice royal of that stuff. All right. So moving forward. Oops, clicking buttons on my keyboard again. So I'm trying to pause. I need new commanders. Mm-hmm. Do do. And the troops, that's actually pretty good. Oh, I can have you guys. You gotta do the thing. Do the crazy thing. Two defense packs, so they're getting back into the pack this year. Uh, a diet of bread and water is not satisfying me anymore, so I'm no longer the temperateness. Hmm. By the way, um, how evil am I? I'm getting pretty evil. <laughs> how evil am I? I'm so evil that... People are joining the defensive pact against me again. Alright. So we're going to bring these all together. And then we're actually going to split them up into two stacks. Because they're both roughly equal. One will go up that way. That location. One will go up that way to that location. Hooray. Hooray, my friends. Hooray. Everything shall be hooray-ness forever. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yes, another thing I need to be doing is collecting a whole lot of money uh, in order for it to be prepared for the uh, the great fights against uh, you, know, you know who, China. Oh, there's a China's. All right, uh, where are you going? You're going Myth, uh, Mythala, uh, which is right here. Well, maybe I should slow down a little bit and just sort of do that. Ho oh. ho. I could attack you there, but I actually kind of want to sway you here. Count Uchen of Colbert assumes the title of County of Makar from that spider person. Spider person, spider person. How's your little fight over here? Um, things are sort of perpetuating slowly. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I shall sit around for the time being. Slowly acquire uh, those, uh, those sieges. Here, the County of Makran from... Count Bayo journaling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'll make my Grand Master of Evil in general. Evil. It's packed against me. They're all teaming up against me. No. I'm a great philosopher. Um, always useful to spend money like that. Head to the Duchy of Jangladesh from this dude. So Jangladesh, uh, which is basically all of this here. Um, you already got a duchy under your situation, so it would naturally sort of fall to this kid. Eh, kind of a title claimant, imperial administration, vicious rumors. I'm going to have to vice roll to him all the same. You kid, you become the vice roll of the thing. Congratulations. I'm sure this means the faction is probably going to grow a little bit further. Oh, actually, some trick. That's nice. I don't have to murder anyone today. Oh, it's convenient. That's a foot of pet opposing me. That's fine. They can oppose me all they like. Does not mean they'll be victorious. Hmm. The Jihad for Delam. The Jihad Redalem against the Basilius Authotheus of Byzantine Empire has come to an end has been, as he has been overthrown. The Muslim faith will be uh, dis uh, his, as he has been overthrown. Okay, so the... Because this guy... Wait. Oh. Hmm. As the Empire has come to an end as he has been overthrown. The Muslim faith will be dis... What? I thought the Muslims did win this year. Cursed infidels. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Disaster by fellow mums, the cult of Persia, uh, 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 Perusha has been caught. It's fine. Um, Porka. So the Seljunks have grown their territory by a bit. And how's your numbers? Your numbers are a bit reduced. That's good. So I might actually be able to take you. Um, Pokara. Pokara. Hmm. Emperor Longbabar of the Wars has inherited the barony of Kashapur from this guy. 
who apparently had um, some measles. So, sucks to be him. Alright, uh, cash pour here. Alright, we're just gonna make a, um, create a new vassal. There you go. Uh, let's inherit the, that stuff. Use of a title, Sultan of Sistan. Um... I'm, I'm, I'd be willing to do that. So, uh, you, know, you don't have any control over it, apparently. Even though you do. Uh, <laughs> I shall usurp this for 200 bucks and uh, call it good. Oh. Yeah. Kingdom of Sistan from Caliph Toge II. Hmm. <laughs> Ho-ho. It's no longer yours to play with, sir. Of course, now I got uh, this sort of problem here. Sort of deal with, so... Uh, um, I'll uh, make it a uh, vice royalty, potentially. And... Uh, do do go and Hara Sistan. So, Sistan will be sustained by somebody in this general facilities. Uh, like this guy, maybe. Um, he, yeah, he's not probably the... Uh, Best option. This guy is also pretty cool. Uh, he's also this dude. There's various other folks here. Uh, who are you under? Actually, have Moltan. That's a little weird. Um, I'm going to grant you a vice royalty. You're going to become the guy in charge of this stand here. Um, congratulations, you're now a fake king. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> and uh, hopefully you love me forever for that. But we'll find out in time. As long as, oh no, my uh, Pujari son is no longer my Upayahaya. Hmm, I need a new person there. As uh, create the Duchy of Ma uh, Makran. Good on him. Council positions. Got my little horsey friend there. It's always good. Always good. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else we got going here? <laughs> I need a new person here. Um, you seem good enough, and plus you love me. And uh, we're going to have you research the cultural texts once again in our capital. Good, good, good. Um, by the way, how's our uh, various things here? I can do that. Can push this forward. I might uh, just want to get more uh, feudal uh, vassal improvements here. Um, there's also tolerance options. Which would be pretty cool, because, you know, being cool with ladies is always nice. Um, I'll, I'll make the noble customs to help reduce their hatred of me. All right, um, lots of war options here. Getting pretty big. Um, I can actually make this one, and that might actually be the best option. Then work on the uh, heavy infantry afterwards. As for this stuff, yeah, there's keeps and construction and all sorts of fun stuff here. Barracks improvements, keep improvements. Uh, I think I'd go with the barracks first, actually. Um, so that... That, probably then that, that. Yeah, maybe. Not sure. Um, I could also boost up the trade practices to get a port three. Um, but um, my port forwarding is not going to be that effective here. Anyway, uh, what do I got? I need a new, new court position. Um, I guess I could also just summon up one for my court. That's also an option. Need a specialist. I need someone who has gout already. <laughs> then they know how to deal with it, right? Woo-ha! So, uh, the, moving forward with this campaign, I do hope to be in a position where um, I can do all sorts of things like military organization and, uh, <laughs> and get to the point where uh, I can invade China and I'll uh, going to see if I can do that before the end of the year. I, I wanted to do that, I'll get this campaign all finished up like a month ago, but, you know, as life happens, you know, I'm not busy and stuff. Um, anywho, um, I think having a a little bit more infantry might be a good idea at this point. More of that. Um, moving fence. Um, which might actually also be really good. But um, there's also some, something to be said about the cavalry being sent in. Yes, yes. Now I'm out of monies. Keepers. <laughs> Hello, Bataya. Bataya. Duke. Khan had of Gujarat. Mandela was used to the title of Duchy of Gujarat. Mandela from Count this guy. He was uh, somebody else here. Uh, was declared Guliant de Jour war over this stuff. I should really be fighting people outside the kingdom. 
expanding my boundaries that way, man. Hey, we did a thing. So now we can move this bit of troops over to uh, liberate that. So that's pretty cool. I still haven't gotten anywhere here. <laughs> Which is a little disappointing, but you know. Snared the Duchy of Surva. That lady's been around forever. Hey, smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. Soon. Soon. Soon shall she, she will, shall be most powerful in her efforts to have more children of mine. Yes. Kids for days. <laughs> All right. Finally, we got that one done. Um, I'm kind of tempted to do, try to squeeze this down. Unless I did, and I did, and I shall. I shall do it again. Even though it might not be the best idea. There we go. And then we can uh, go ahead and crush the Monopoly's army with our uh, doom stack here. It's not very doomy. Um, I shall um, be involved in this somehow. Do I want to leave for the front? I think I shall. Can and I shall. And then I'll have uh, Mr. Flanking on the side. He uses all the mounted troops. Good, good, good. And uh, we'll have somebody else on the other side with various super bonuses. I don't think they'll survive this very easily, but that's okay. Yoink. Hmm. Disaster! Who cares? Curses, they say. We are very effective here. Vice Leon of Sistansky, Duchy of Zabulistan. Good on him. News from China. The status quo in China is over. Harmony and progress are blossoming throughout China. The benevolent rule of Gijin Kunzon. New types of precious silks and other wondrous uh, new wares have started to flow along the increasing safe uh, routes of the Silk Road, whose uh, wealth has doubled. Interesting. So, um, got in the golden age in the, uh, in the empire of the Chinas. Hmm. Makes me jealous. Makes me envious of their efforts. Hmm. Do I want to sit around here forever? Hmm. There's also Kathmandu. Hmm. Have to think about this. I think I'll sit there. Just hang out in the mountains. That's great. <laughs> Threats. They're huge and large, and everyone's going, whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa. Hmm. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Soldiers are on the defensive pact against me now. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Their army has been reduced by uh, quite a bit. Hmm. Oh well, just my threat's so high, everyone's spooked about me. Even the uh, unholy armies of, of uh, you know, the infinite respawning. <laughs> Alright, 62%. Disaster! Another person in the cult has been uh, found and destroyed or something. Uh, it wasn't paying attention. It's not me, though. Um, I should probably think about doing something evil. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I am uh, almost to my next level of darkness powers, though. Um, I guess I could uh, try to speed this up by uh, sacrificing some prisoners. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, like this guy, maybe. Um, uh, sacrifice to Kelly Powers. Only 10 dark power. Um, how about you? Here's 10. Sacrifice. Oh, hello, old lady. Yeah, no one around here is really good at being, uh, you know, providing me all sorts of evil uh, benefits here. Hmm. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. Maybe I need to, like, capture more children. Do horrible things like that. You know, be a real, a real uh, terrible person here. Hmm. Being my being evil. Hmm. Yeah, everyone just sort of 10 dark power. Um. I'll just sacrifice someone random who isn't going to be, uh, Ransomable here. Like, uh, you've been in my prison for a good long while, lady. And your husband's going to miss you. But there was a horrible accident involving some knives. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Tara looks dazed as she is dragged to the altar, but you can see with uh, a dawning uh, comprehension on her face as she is tied down. You ignore her begging as chants of praise to Kali Purusha, Vildu Crescendo. Finally, this time, you swing your blade in overhead arc, you know, in an overheaded arc, which ends in Tura's heart. Hail to the darkness. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, someone else uh, 
Yes, there was a, a mix up and uh Yeah, hmm. A siege of Burgundy. Cool. And uh, do I wanna try to do this one? Yeah, I think I'll be good. Turned my court and council is yet to be able to do these things. And my spy master. I've heard of the the duchy over here. Yes, yes. Um now you are a small person who controls all of this. I might as well just give it to you. I'll definitely give it to somebody else. Who I want to get out from under the thumb of somebody uh, more annoying, like this guy. I can reduce the power of my uh, my uh, my dark leadership person here. We're gonna grant you a vice royalty guy. <laughs> um, Duchy of Nolamvadi um, is now yours. Ho ho. And my my uh, dark leadership person is uh, you know, a little less weak, uh, a little less powerful now, and that's good. Ooh, hmm, hmm. Some burpins. Anyway, going forward. Hmm, picture ransom. Cool, cool, cool. No, but to strike the fo foolish followers of the false gods. Present yourself. The uh, Pujaris and uh, Dilapur is ignored of the true state of the world. They uh, tear down their idols to steal their wealth in the name of Kali Purusha. I shall accept. Yes, yes, yeah. Now, try to recruit him. Kind of awkward. Uh, what do we got here? We need to uh, do the thing here, right? All right well, I guess uh, can we do this here? Yeah. Desecrate the temple. There we go. Let's see where it's at. Let's go desecratings. Badam, 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 badam. Their third Sistani war for Kirvin Kalatogre. Uh, my preparations of blood have been made. The servants been bribed to leave the door open, etc., etc. We've been at this uh, for a while. Uh, we know all this, these events chains here. It is time. Um, so the Viceroyal is going after Caliph Togre II. And, uh, all this stuff here. Oh, well, this this guy down here. Um, Stanley Holy War for Kerman. And you're going to try to get the, the Kerbal... Uh, space program started here in Persia here. Uh, <laughs> they also got a little bit of territory up here, which they could potentially uh, retreat to. If you are successful, that means uh, another bastion on our border will be uh, well, integrated into our great realm. As I and a group of faith will make our way through the temple in, uh, in Title One spot of Pujari, uh, tending to uh, their duties in the middle of the night. Um, I shall murderate him. I'm getting our way through the small temple. I and my companions have entered the small room. Um, we can make some money, gain some dark power. Um, we can gain a bunch of dark power out of this. I'm gonna take the money. A Jewish exile fleeing briskation elsewhere in Europe. I'm not in Europe. Uh, has shown up in your court. <laughs> His time spent abroad has gifted you with many connections, and by all accounts, he is an able to build the land. He would make a fine chancellor, indeed. But I love Glitterhoof, my wonderful horse friend, my chief minister of all the things. Um, can I arrange a marriage between you and somebody? No. <laughs> Why not? Um, hmm. Yes. Hmm. I would love to get some, uh, let's do some various craziness here, uh, like an unholy pregna impregnation, but that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, the night of silence we exit the temple. Our foul rites making sure that the holiness of the place is tainted for years to come. Excellent. I'm going to do the thing here. Uh, I've got some siege camps here, and I'm going to try to upgrade my adventures in the, the darkness here. Um, yes, yes. A daughter was born. Jing Feng. I don't know. I'm... Yeah, go after uh, a random ancestor of some sort here. Uh, one that we've already done. Because you guys, you know, really need to get around to uh, putting new uh, names down. Children of the Realm. I'm kind of out of lady names. Um, Calvina. Shair. Uh, Shala. Cleopatra's pretty good. Then Shahia. Espen. Ping. Hmm. Sarah the Mad. Tempting, but now. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, Wayne Neely. Sarah the Mad again. Jaina uh, Jing Xian. Come on. Give me another one here. I'm going to go with Jing. Pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> How's our war coming? Uh, Dev got. Cool. Another uh, bit of percentage. Very nice. Um, he's not giving you that cellular commanders. Lack formal training. No, I don't want to give you favors. That would be uh, silly of me. Uh, excellent. I've ranked up. What can I do now? I can now do the uh, summon familiar. Which will uh, give me some cool stuff. Tainted touch. And demonic possession. Demonic possession is always fantastic. It's great for dealing with factions that are too powerful. <laughs> like, oh, this person that's now wanting leading the faction? Well, they're not my best friend. They're also insane, and everyone hates them. <laughs> Disaster! That's fine. Remember that time when I was really evil and uh, well, led the Mongol hordes out of the east? That was pretty great. <laughs> uh, Pokhara, no! Alright, well, I'll finish up this. I'll go crush their army and, and go grab that again. Mm-hmm. It'll be fantastic. And I don't mind if this episode's a little long. I'm going to go until at least the end of this war. Maybe a little further. Uh, and Kalamani! Let's go uh, crush their spirits here. Sixth Siege! Drag Seng out of their hiding hole. Well, some other folks, including small children of some sort here. Hmm. Well, are they um, sacrificial children, perhaps? That would be um, useful for my evil ways. Well, this lady, she's been here for ages. <laughs> uh, okay. I want new prisoners. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice. And uh, sacrifice? No, no one wants to be sacrificed. Which we're very much dark power here. That's disappointing. Mm, how about you, lady? Mm. Eh. I'll uh, sacrifice the old lady. Mm, go. Ten dark power. Mm, yes, Arkans and Vijamba's heart. Hooray. Let's go uh, destroy them. Disaster! Oh no! Uh, my cousin's been found out. Hmm. Been having a lot lately. Uh, people of Constantinople have progressed. Excellent. Hello, children type per person. Uh, oh, we already got a Cleopatra in the family. Who's uh, my daughter, in fact. Uh, what do you need, daughter? You are very strong. Uh, you would make someone uh, fantastically happy for being powerful. Um, of that sort. Uh, you are also kind of terrible at the whole... Uh, you know, stewardship business here. But yeah, we're going to have you punch people. <laughs> I tend to go with that option a lot, honestly. It's uh, so great, though. Anyway, um, hang out here. We're going to be 100 percent in suddenly. There we go. We're going to enforce our demands. You are now part of my empire. The Draconic War for Baron uh, Threek. He... Threek? Yeedings claim on Nepal's ended Emperor Longbow Mar of Dragon is won. Excellent. And the small child type person is now in charge of all that kingdom. And uh, he's also interested in Bihar, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> Alright, um, I am going to put my various levy sort of people's way. And now we got ourselves a, a buffer zone of sorts for the no Nepalese sort of territories. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, we got, um, we also got, uh, the, uh, Kingdom of Nibore, which now runs all of this, I guess. But, uh, they are a little weird here, Barbara. Hmm. Um, because this kid only has Bihar Sharif the Barony. Um, so his, his troop levels are going to be a little weak, so somebody might just bounce back, say, this guy, who I just beat up, uh, to uh, re-establish their kingdom, and uh, they'll be cool with that. And I'll be cool with it, honestly. Yes, this does give me uh, options, potentially, to go after these guys. So they are presently in revolt. Uh, oh, to the mutilator. Hmm, he's actually winning. Can I declare war? I could board a dispute and uh, waste a lot of money and karma on that. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh... We've got holy war option here, so there's that. Hmm, that's disappointing. Hmm. 
Oh well. <laughs> Alright, um, so, troop level wise, I'm at 49,000. Alright, cool. How are the soldiers right now? They are at 40,000. I could potentially take them. Um, I could declare war, religious liberations of, uh, of the, the Turkestans, which is all the stuff over there. Delam, which is all the stuff over there. Could holy war for all the things. Could prefer to, like, just do massive kingdom conquests, but, you know, sometimes we can't get what we want. <laughs> How about you, Byzantine guy? You are uh, not in defensive pact against me. You are uh, very easily conquerable of the Georgia sorts. Again, all this should be disconnected from our main kingdom. But, uh, you know, stuff happens. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're doing okay here for the moment. I think we're going to go ahead and end of today's episode so then. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like the button, subscribe for more, hit the notification bell because YouTube's like that. If you want to put a comment down with children's names for, uh, future members of the dynasty or so you share the folks make sure to do that now otherwise why otherwise you'll forget again I, I, I want children names so i don't have to make them up myself oh god <laughs> plus it gives you a, a way to sort of give input in my my series you can also tell me what, what i'm doing wrong like not playing the most recent version of the game anyway <laughs> um anywho uh, i wanted to finish this campaign up so i'm gonna go so this is the first episode to sort of try to do that i'm gonna keep growing my strength for a little while and uh, maybe, depending on if I can get Twitch running properly, I might stream it, but it, uh, OBS is kind of crap right now, so I don't know. Anywho, anywho, I'd like to thank you very much for joining once more, and until next time, everybody, toodles! Woohoo!